piracy has been a threat to international shipping for centuries. But what happens when this threat is directed at a modern navy? The Russian navy, one of the most powerful in the world, has repeatedly faced attacks by daring pirates. From the spectacular rescue of the oil tanker Moscow University in 2010, to the rescue operation of a container ship in 2016, the Russian Navy has demonstrated how effectively they can counter these threats. But how do they operate? What are the tactics and challenges of the Russian Navy in combating piracy? And how do they compare to those of the US Navy? The Russian Navy maintains a significant presence in piracy-prone regions such as the Gulf of Aden and the Horn of Africa. Their ships regularly patrol these waters, ready to respond to any pirate activity. The Russian Navy's approach to dealing with pirates is known for its assertiveness and willing to use force when necessary. One of the primary tactics employed by the Russian Navy is the use of an armed response. Unlike some other naval forces that prioritize non-lethal measures, the Russian Navy is more inclined to engage pirates with firepower if the situation demands it. This aggressive stance sends a strong message to pirates that their actions will not be tolerated and that the consequences can be severe. In addition to the use of force, the Russian Navy conducts boarding and inspection operations on suspected pirate vessels. These high-risk missions involve deploying teams of heavily armed sailors to physically board and search ships for evidence of piracy. The boarding teams are highly trained and equipped to handle potentially hostile situations, demonstrating the Russian Navy's commitment to actively disrupting pirate activities. Over the years, the Russian Navy has been involved in several notable incidents with pirates. One such incident occurred in 2010, when pirates attacked a Russian oil tanker, the Moscow University in the Gulf of Aden. The tanker was carrying a crew of 23 Russian sailors and a cargo of crude oil worth millions of dollars. As the pirates approached the tanker, the Russian Navy's anti-piracy task force, which was patrolling nearby, immediately responded to the distress call. The Russian warship, the Marshal Shaposhinkov, dispatched a helicopter with a team of Marines to intercept the pirates. The Marine team quickly boarded the tanker and engaged in a fierce firefight with the pirates. The well-trained and heavily armed Marines overwhelmed the pirates, forcing them to surrender. In the end, the swift and decisive action of the Russian Navy prevented pirates from seizing control of the tanker and ensured the safety of the crew and the valuable cargo. Another incident that showcased the Russian Navy's anti-piracy capabilities took place in 2016 off the coast of Africa. A Russian warship, the Vice Admiral Kulikov, received a distress call from a container ship that was under attack by pirates. The Russian warship immediately changed course and rushed to the scene. As they approached the container ship, the Russian crew spotted a pirate skiff alongside the vessel, with pirates attempting to board. The Russian warship wasted no time and launched a helicopter with the Marine team to intervene. The Marine team swiftly boarded the container ship and confronted the pirates. In the ensuing firefight, several pirates were injured, and the rest were forced to retreat. The Russian Marines secured the container ship and ensured the safety of its crew once again, demonstrating their effectiveness in combating piracy. These incidents highlight the Russian Navy's readiness and capability to respond to pirate attacks swiftly and decisively. Their well-trained personnel, advanced weaponry, and willingness to use force when necessary makes them a formidable presence in the fight against piracy. The Russian Navy's approach to anti-piracy operations is not limited to direct intervention. They also actively participate in an international anti-piracy effort and collaborate with other naval forces to enhance maritime security. By sharing intelligence, coordinating patrols, and participating in joint exercises, the Russian Navy contributes to the global fight against piracy. How does the US Navy's approach differ from that of the Russian Navy in the fight against piracy? While the Russian Navy and the US Navy share the common goal of combating piracy, there are notable differences in their approaches. Like the Russian Navy, the US Navy deploys its assets to protect commercial shipping and deter pirate attacks. However, the US Navy tends to place a greater emphasis on deterrence and non-lethal measures. The US Navy often employs a graduated response when dealing with pirate threats. This approach involves using a series of escalating actions, 
starting with verbal warnings and warning shots before resorting to more forceful measures if necessary. The aim is to minimize the risk of escalation and avoid the use of lethal force unless absolutely necessary. In contrast, the Russian Navy's approach is more assertive and less hesitant to use force. They're more likely to engage pirates directly and respond with firepower if the situation warrants it. The difference in tactics and rules of engagement has drawn both praise and criticism from the international community. One notable incident that highlights the US Navy's approach to piracy occurred in 2009 off the coast of Somalia. The US flagged cargo ship the Maersk, Alabama was attacked by some Somali pirates, who managed to board the vessel and take the crew hostage. The US Navy responded by deploying the guided missile destroyer USS Bainbridge to the scene. The Bainbridge's captain established communication with the pirates and began negotiations for the release of the hostages. Simultaneously, U.S. Navy SEAL snipers positioned themselves on the destroyer's deck, ready to intervene if necessary. After several days of tense negotiations, the captain of the Maersk, Alabama managed to escape and was rescued by the U.S. Navy. However, the pirates still held the ship's chief mate hostage in a lifeboat. As the lifeboat drifted further away from the Maersk, Alabama, the U.S. Navy SEALs took action. The SEAL snipers, with their advanced training and precision weaponry, carefully targeted the pirates and simultaneously neutralized them with headshots. The chief mate was successfully rescued and the pirate threat was eliminated without further casualties. This incident showcased the US Navy's calculated approach to using force, emphasizing the importance of negotiation and minimizing collateral damage. The surgical precision of the SEAL snipers demonstrated the Navy's capability to neutralize threats while prioritizing the safety of the hostages. Despite these differences, both the Russian Navy and the US Navy recognized the importance of international cooperation in combating piracy. They participate in multinational task forces and coalitions, such as the Combined Maritime Forces, or the CMF, and the European Union Naval Force, or the EU NAV4 to enhance coordination and effectiveness in anti-piracy operations. Combating piracy is a complex and multifaceted challenge that naval forces must navigate. One of the primary issues is the legal and jurisdictional ambiguity that arises in international waters. When pirate attacks occur far from the shores of any nation, determining who has the authority to intervene and prosecute the perpetrators can be a challenge. Moreover, naval forces must strike a delicate balance between the use of force and the risk of escalation. While engaging pirates with firepower may be effective in the short term, it can also lead to unintended consequences and further violence. Naval forces must weigh the immediate need to protect lives and property against the potential long-term implications of their actions. Another critical consideration is the coordination and cooperation among nations and maritime organizations. Piracy is a transnational threat that requires a collective response. Sharing intelligence, resources, and best practices is essential for naval forces to stay ahead of the pirates and effectively protect commercial shipping. Building strong partnerships and fostering trust among nations is crucial in the fight against piracy. This brings us to a question for you. Have you ever encountered news stories about pirate attacks on naval vessels? What are your thoughts on the different approaches taken by the Russian Navy and the US Navy in combating piracy? Share your opinions and experiences in the comments below. And while you're at it, we'd like to invite you to join our channel as a member, which will not only help us continue producing these fantastic videos about the US Navy, but also serves as a tribute to all the veterans who tune in to our videos. Head on over to the link in the description or simply visit our channel page and select join. Thank you. Okay, let's get back to the topic and the challenges faced by the Russian Navy. The Russian Navy's approach to combating piracy is not without its challenges and criticisms. Some experts argue that the use of force and aggressive tactics may escalate tensions and lead to unintended consequences. There are concerns that the Russian Navy's assertive stance could potentially harm innocent civilians or damage international relations if not executed with precision and restraint. Moreover, the legal framework surrounding anti-piracy operations can be complex and ambiguous. 
international laws and conventions such as the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea or UNCLOS provide guidelines for combating piracy, but the interpretation and application of these laws can vary among nations. The Russian Navy must navigate this legal landscape carefully to ensure that its actions are justified and in accordance with international norms. Another challenge facing the Russian Navy in its anti-piracy efforts is the vast expanse of the oceans and the limited resources available to cover such a large area. Piracy often occurs in remote regions far from the reach of naval forces, making it difficult to respond quickly and effectively. The Russian Navy must strategically allocate its assets and prioritize its deployments to maximize its impact and minimize response times. Despite these challenges, the Russian Navy remains committed to its role in combating piracy and ensuring the safety of maritime commerce. The Russian government recognizes the importance of securing vital trade routes and protecting its own economic interests. As such, the Russian Navy is likely to continue investing in its anti-piracy capabilities and collaborating with international partners to address this global threat. Also, it goes without saying that the collaboration with the private sector is another area where the Russian Navy could expand its efforts. By working closely with shipping companies, maritime insurance providers and other stakeholders, the Russian Navy can gain valuable insights into the evolving tactics and trends of pirates. This collaboration can lead to the development of more effective strategies and the sharing of best practices to combat piracy. Adapting to Evolving Pirate Tactics As the Russian Navy continues its efforts to combat piracy, it must also contend with the ever-evolving tactics employed by pirates. Pirates are constantly adapting their methods to evade detection and overcome naval defenses, posing an ongoing challenge for the Russian Navy. To stay ahead of this evolving threat, the Russian Navy must continually assess and adapt its own tactics and capabilities. This may involve investing in advanced intelligence gathering and analysis capabilities to better understand pirate networks and anticipate their moves. The Russian Navy may also need to develop new technologies and equipment, specifically designed to counter the latest pirate attacks. Adapting to evolving pirate tactics also requires flexibility and agility in the Russian Navy's operations. The ability to quickly adjust strategies and deploy assets in response to changing circumstances is crucial in the dynamic world of maritime security. The Russian Navy must cultivate a culture of innovation and adaptability within its ranks to effectively respond to the evolving pirate threat. Moreover, the Russian Navy may need to expand its collaboration with other naval forces and international partners to share knowledge and best practices in countering pirate tactics. By pooling resources and expertise, the Russian Navy can leverage the collective experience and insights of the global maritime security community and stay ahead of the curve. As the Russian Navy continues to adapt and evolve its anti-piracy strategies, it'll be important to strike a balance between the use of force and the need for diplomacy and international cooperation. By working together with other naval forces and international organizations, the Russian Navy can contribute to a safer and more secure maritime environment for all. Here we have one more question for you. What do you think the future holds for the fight against piracy? Will the threat of piracy continue to evolve? Or will the efforts of naval forces like the Russian Navy and the US Navy ultimately prevail? Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. At the end of it all, the Russian Navy's approach to combating piracy is characterized by strength assertiveness, and a readiness to use force when necessary. Through their active presence in piracy-prone regions, participation in international anti-piracy efforts, and swift response to piracy attacks, the Russian Navy has demonstrated its commitment to ensuring the safety and security of maritime trade. By embracing new technologies, fostering more cooperation, and addressing the root causes of piracy, the Russian Navy can play a crucial role in shaping a safer future for all who navigate the world's oceans. We hope this video has provided you with some valuable insights into the complex world of naval anti-piracy operations and the specific approaches taken by the Russian Navy and the US Navy. If you found this content informative and engaging, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more in-depth explorations of naval warfare 
military strategy, and global security issues. Be sure to turn on your notifications so you can tune in as soon as we upload the next video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting content very soon. Until next time.